I remember Derek Trucks, first time I saw him was on the Eric Clapton co- Crossroads. And I was like, who is this guy? This is incredible. Just how human he sounds when he plays. It's so otherworldly to me. I think Slide is such a, a an instrument of its own and a mindset of its own when you're playing guitar. It is so fluid and so incredibly soulful. It's a beautiful way to play and 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 I'm still a student of it. You know, the song Red River on 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 my my new EP, you know, really delves into that slide kind of thing and it is just so fun how freeing it is but how incredibly attentive to your ear you need to be when you're when you're playing in this style uh it's it's really beautiful he is one of my favorite guitar players in the way that he plays in the way that he leads the band the way that again that ebb and flow and how all of their records sound and how that is, it, it's such a, a beautiful piece of, of the puzzle of that band. It's so lyrical. It's so human the way he plays. It's incredibly inspiring to me. So that, that was the first time I saw him and was like, Oh my gosh, I need to, I need to learn more about this human. This is, this is great. And I remember the, um, the Rolling Stone cover with him and John Frusciante and John Mayer. I remember reading that article quite a bit. Just like, wow, like this guy's just, and he's incredibly humble too. And he's just such a great player. Um, Susan Tedeschi, I found out about her a little bit later. I was listening. It just happened, you know, listening on Spotify. And it's like songs you might like. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I heard her cover of uh, Don't Think Twice by Bob Dylan. And I just like that knocked me to the, my knees. I'm like, this is one of the most beautiful versions of the song I've ever heard. And then, you know, really got into her, guitar playing and her songwriting and her just her voice is so beautiful and again just such a presence in that band and she has such a beautiful delicate voice but it can get big and it can just it it, it feels like gosh it's it's so it's just got a beautiful texture to it that sounds familiar yet very unique um as as a, as a music appreciator and as a listener, I, I, I find that her, you know, there, there are very few voices that really crack into your soul. And I think her voice is one of them. Um, I, I got to see them play at the Orpheum theater out here, I believe it was in 2019 and it was a great show. It was a great show and seeing them in a theater like that was just so, so cool. It was yeah, it was there. <laughs> yeah. It was, good show. it was a good show. I, I, I don't think I've missed any LA shows for the, the last yeah. few, you know few years whenever they they make it to the to the west coast and by the way we're recording this june 8th and it is derek trucks i birthday, was gonna say birthday. yes happy birthday Derek. Ne- meant to, <laughs> meant to be talking to a, a guitar player and you and of course you play slide as well i want to ask a little bit more about uh when did you start playing slide and you kind of told me a little bit about the challenges and 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 what that's like but tell me about the early yeah. days of learning slide i what happened was i had dislocated my first finger and I couldn't really play. It was super swollen. It was bad. And I couldn't play, you know, regularly for about a month. And I'm like, huh, you should probably learn how to play slide. This would be a really great time to just do that and delve into it. So it was a month where I only played slide and really got that, you know, listening to a lot of stuff, a lot of Muddy Waters, like Helen Wolf and a lot of that, a lot of that old blues and hearing like the inflections of, how a slide sounds against strings and, and, and getting those little nuances, how to slide, you know, how to properly slide, how to really get that note that you want. Cause it's such a delicate touch of being out of tune and being in tune, you know? So, so it's, it's, it's a delicate balance. And I think it's, it's, it's a lot more about the ear than the hands to me uh, in, in playing slide, but yeah, it kind of came out of a, well, I don't want to not play music for a month. I'm going to go ahead and try this. And, and the slide has always been um, such a joy. I really love playing it. It's so much fun. I, I, I play in, you know, standard and in open tuning when I play slide and it's such a beautiful challenge. I'm still, I'm still a student of it, but man, do I love it. Love playing slide. That's interesting. It's also Derek. I mean, from what I gather, like obviously he was exposed to the Almond brothers and uh, Dwayne Almond and all that, but I think, he was uh he gravitated towards slide a lot when he was really really young as a kid because his hands were small 
as, as a kid. And I think it was easier to, 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 to play slide as opposed to, to fretting. What happened to your, to your finger there? And it was, it some kind of divine intervention meant to be to make Perhaps. To you into slide. Perhaps I haven't really, I haven't thought that, that deep into it. You know, it's, it just happened. And I'm like, well, if I can't do this, I'm going to try this. 